Hi, welcome to another Xjody video to help you bring transformational results to your business. I'm Dean Virag, and today we are joined by Xjody Collaboration Specialist, Melissa Hubbard. Welcome to the Xjody Studios, Melissa. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. Excellent, so I understand that you've got some information for us about Microsoft Flow. I do. Absolutely, so, so what is Flow and what does it have to offer? Um, so Flow is Microsoft's newest tool for automating business processes or creating workflows. Um, it's mainly used for Office 365, but you can also connect with uh, SharePoint 2016 on-premise. So a lot of people are excited about that. Yeah, that's interesting, um, yeah. There's some special configurations and data connections to do that, but um, so that's one capability. The really cool thing is that you can connect with external services, um, Yammer, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Box, um, those are just a few. There's so many services that you can connect with. Oh, um, yeah, so uh, there's some differences um, between some of the previous workflow products, but we can get into that. Yeah, excellent. And so I was going to ask, it's, it, uh, it sounds like it's a, a quite different than, than Microsoft Designer and Workflow. Uh, workflow Manager. So can you talk a little bit about what some of the differences are? Um, yeah, there, there's some differences, but they're also similar. Um, one really cool feature is that you can actually create workflows that go across site collections, which you weren't previously able to do. Oh, so yeah. I know um, our agility team is really excited about that. Um, and then, of course, add, um, adding the external services um, into the mix, it just creates a plethora of new um, new ways you can automate your business processes. Um, you know, nowadays people, um, they're, they're storing content on different services besides just SharePoint. So being able to connect with those services um, really makes a difference. Um, there's some differences in the, the logic um, and maybe some limitations in some people's eyes. Um, the, the and or capabilities are different. Um, there's, mm -hmm. um, so, so um, you can't nest statements in the same way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, you know, off the top of my head, those are some of the um, major um, similarities and differences with Designer and Workflow Manager. Excellent. Yeah, F Flow sounds like a really, really amazing tool. And I understand that you've got some uh, some, some demos for us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I um, have Flow pulled up here, and um, I'd be happy to show it to you. Excellent. Let's take a look. All right. So as you can see here, I am on the Flow homepage. Um, you may be prompted to log in, um, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, I am logged in through my Xtility Office 365 account. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is my flows. I have that pulled up in this tab already. So this um, gives you an overview of all of the flows that you, are, you have already built and that you have running. You can turn them on and off, you can edit them and delete them from here. Um, this is also where you go to create a new flow, either from a template um, or you can start from a blank template. If you click on a specific flow, it'll bring it up and allow you to update it and let you see the steps that you have. The next thing I'm going to show you are the templates, and I have that pulled up in this tab here. So these are sorted by popularity, and there's a ton of templates um, because there's so many services that it connects with. So these templates have been created by Microsoft, and they, these are, these are, are pre-built templates out of the box that are ready to use? Yes, that's, that's true. And there are, as you can see, like this one's made by Andrew Reynolds. There is an approval process if you want to create your own flow template. Oh, that's, wow, that's, so, that's interesting. Yes, let me scroll back up. So looking at these templates, I'm seeing that they're connecting to lots of different services. I, you know, I saw, I saw Twitter, I'm seeing SharePoint, I'm seeing Office 365, uh, lots of different services. Can you talk a little bit about um, you know, kind of what's, a, what's available? What are the different uh, platforms that you can connect to? Sure. Um, actually, I'm going to click the services link right here that I already have pulled up. And here um, lists all the services um, with you know the icon that you'll e easily recognize. Um, I'll scroll down just to, to give you a look. And here, if you cl click a certain service that you're interested in connecting in, all of the 
flow templates that are associated with that service will show up. So there's a lot of different ways to get to the templates. I'm just showing you a few. Um, so, for example, if you want to see all the, the templates that are available for Yammer, you could go ahead and, and click on the, the Yammer box there. Yes. Oh, excellent. Look at that. Yep. And then this will, will show them to you. And I, I believe that it, um, it sorts them by popularity once you click the service. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is the Admin Center, um, which you click right here to get to. So here is the Admin Center. So as you can see, um, I've created some environments uh, based on business organizations. We have communications, community, customer relations, finance, and human resources. Um, the environments are really meant to put a boundary and isolate your flows. So um, this will help with governance. Um, if you can picture a scenario where all of your business users could connect with connect their business data which, with whatever service that they have access to, that could become kind of a nightmare to manage. So that's where the admin center comes into play. Um, you set your boundary and then you um, build your flows and they're, they're located for that environment. This is where you set the data policies for the environments. If I click new policy, you'll select the environment that you want to create the policy for. And as you can see, um, I could add a service that we're going to allow. Um, this, this helps provide governance as to what services that environment should be able to send and receive data from in their flows. So what we're talking about really here is data loss prevention. Um, yes, that's that's one way to, so, to see it. So as an example, for, for, for the finance environment, if, if I wanted to allow a connection to just SharePoint, I would add SharePoint uh, to the business data only, and, and everything else would, would essentially be turned off that would prohibit me from uh, connecting to those environments? Yes. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. Yeah, and you know, this is just a high-level overview. Um, I wanted to just get you familiar with Flow and show you some of the capabilities. And in future videos, we're going to be going into more detail about the different features. Excellent, excellent. Melissa, thank you very much. That was a lot of fantastic information. That was a great introduction to Microsoft Flow. Thanks for joining us in the studios today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Excellent. So this has been another Exagility video to help you bring transformational results to your business. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.